Read Mike North in the Daily Herald. Hear him uh, Friday afternoons with Steve. Watch his daily 30 and 5 video commentaries at 560wind.com. Our visit today brought to you by the Village of Rosemont. And home, comfort, heating, cooling, plumbing, and electric. Mike North is here. Hi, Mike. How are you guys doing? What's going on, Amy? What's going on, John? Well, if I was to uh, bet my house on the future employment possibilities of Lovey Smith with the Bears, what would you think? Would that be a, a good bet or a bad bet to make? Which I, think, I, I think it's still a good bet that he comes back. I, I really believe, though, that uh, this has been one of those years where if he was going to get more time, it would be one more year. Um, I just, you know, they looked so good. They were 7-1, and one, but they were beaten up on weaker opponents. The schedule caught up to them. Uh, they had injuries, but everybody does. I mean, they like to lean on the injury thing more than, than most teams. Most teams, you know, like like the Patriots or whatever, uh, the, the real good teams say, okay, we got injuries, we got to plug somebody else in, and we got to do the best uh, that we can. But I think there's a chance he may come back. I'm not so sure about other people in the organization, if if you know what I mean. Other people such as Jay Cutler, is he worth $40 well, million? Dollars? The, 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 listen to this, guys. The, the, the franchise, the, the faces, are Brian Urlacher and Jay Cutler. It's time for them both to go. Both of them. See you, you later. Urlacher? Brian Urlacher basically disdains the fans. And Amy, he's 37, 38 years old. You can't be a typical fan and just latch on to a guy because he's one of your favorite players. you got to look at his effectiveness. He's not on the field the last four or five games. He's had a nice career. Okay, well, but he had an injury. Well, that's what I'm saying. You can't depend on him. Uh, you, you know what? What do you? Hey, you know what? You got to. You work at a radio station. You don't make it uh, two days a week out of every five. You're not around long. He cannot stay healthy on the field. He's getting older. And this latest deal, which I sort of question. I don't think he meant what he actually no, said. No, he yeah. screwed up his words. But you start dissing the fans. If you're the Chicago Bear franchise and you want to fill, uh, fill that stadium, you can't have your aging middle linebacker who's halfway out the door start firing on the fan base. The fan base yeah, pays the price. That. The I average that. ticket's $111. Brian Urlacher is right now irrelevant as a football player. In fact, Green Bay players said they were the Bears would be better off if he wasn't on the field. And you know what? It wasn't a bad ball game. It was Cutler who couldn't get it done, and I would not pay him. But where are you going after Cutler if you don't have him? Let's talk about Brandon Marshall. After the game, he kind of forced his way up at the podium, and mm -hmm. uh, he's kind of a showboater in my mind. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of those comments? Well, I think that you know he he's the guy that stepped up. You know, you know they're the ones that started mouthing off with the Packers. I think you got to back up what you say. They didn't back up what they say. I give him credit for stepping up uh, to the podium. I, I gave him credit for John a little bit. But you know what's funny? Lovey Smith supposedly keeps his locker room under control. Except when they can fire on the other team or fire on the fans. Uh, Brian Urlacher's got an, a, a beautiful relationship, a good relationship with Lovey Smith. So he came to his aid because the fan base is on him. But when you tell the fans they don't know what they're talking about, when you tell the media they don't know what they're talking about, that's when things start to blow up. I mean, uh, you know, Urlacher's been with Lovey the whole time, so I admire him for standing up, but he didn't have to take on the fan base to do it. Well, let's talk about Brandon Marshall. I mean, as a, a country that was grieving over the death of 20 young children, mm -hmm. and he gets up there and starts crying about football i mean come on yeah time means everything right guys he needs a gut check yeah i woke up with a headache on sunday morning and sunday morning is usually one of my better days and <laughs> I, I couldn't figure out why and i knew why i mean because of the weekend i mean everybody yeah. everybody was tossing and turning and sometimes things are better left unsaid and i thought that everybody in the national football league for the most part and nba uh the sports world accorded themselves respectfully uh, with the with the tragedy, but you're right. I mean, it, 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 there are times where you moan, and there are times where you you don't, and that was one of those times where you shouldn't. Crying. Our I mean, moaning time is all up for this. Oh week. my God! Okay, oh. guys. Thank you, Mr. You Ryan take North. care of yourselves. Take care.